All right, guys, thanks for tuning in for the Potential Mental Stability podcast. Good to see you. Um, good to hear you out there and uh, know you're listening in, trying to improve your mind, improve um, your day-to-day life, your habits, and just making sure you've got that sort of confidence you need to do the things you need to do. So today I'm going to go straight into it. We're going to talk about stagnation. Um, many of the times what I see with people is essentially they'll get anxious, nervous, depressed or something like that. And that'll put them into a state where they don't actually want to do anything. Um, so they'll leave work, they'll stay at home, they'll lock themselves in the room because of the feeling anxious or they're not feeling good enough. And then what happens is through that stagnation, the thoughts that they always already had, the empty thoughts, they become even stronger. They start to build and build. And through that stagnation, because you're not actually doing anything all day, you start to feel worse. And the excuses start to run you and you assume that you only feel a certain way and that nothing will change it. But the fact of the matter is, is you're not doing anything to change it. You're just laying in that sort of pit of of depression, anxiety without actually taking action to sort it out. Um, So stagnation is one of the worst things that can happen to someone, just like water. Like when water stagnates, it goes off, you know, it, it becomes smelly, you know, ill bacteria, stuff like that. It does the same thing with your mind. If you're sat in all, all the day doing nothing, not really thinking about anything productive, not making any progress, you're going to start to feel down, feel pathetic, feel unimportant, feel uncared for because you're literally just existing and not thriving. So why don't you act? Why is it that you can't find that sort of drive to act? It's not that you couldn't act. We all know that if you know you had a gun to your head, um, or maybe someone you cursed for head, and they said do it, get it done, or maybe even someone shouted at you, you know, a bit of discipline, get it done, and was on your back, you'd be able to physically do it. Um, the problem is you taught yourself out of it. That's why you don't act because you taught yourself out of it. Oh, there's no point anyway. But nihilism. Um, there's, you know. No reason I should do it. I don't feel good enough. I'm too scared. What if I fail? All these things we're going to cover anyway. But the real reason you don't act really most of the time is you don't feel like it. If you think about that statement in in and of itself, that's a very selfish statement. You don't feel like it. So you're not going to take on responsibilities um, where other people need you to because you don't feel like it. You're not going to, you know, make sure everyone co- who cares about you or all your friends know that you're stable and you're happy or you're doing well because you, you know, you don't feel like it. That's pretty selfish um, in a way and that, that's something that we can get into the sort of, it's no joke, like mental health um, and this kind of stuff is no joke. It overruns your mind. But at the same time, oftentimes it's when you're thinking about yourself is when you get into these states and you need to get outside of thinking about yourself all the time and thinking it's about you when it's not not all the time so why is it that you have to feel like something to do it i mean as we've just literally discussed you don't have to feel like something to take action on it the fact is you're choosing not to and you're saying okay well I'll make, um, I'll make it okay not to take action. I'll make excuses, and these excuses will define me. Um, one I always get, obviously, is well, I can't help it. I've got mental health issues, but that's not a reason not to act. You still can physically act, whether you're motivated or not. Doesn't really change the fact that you could do it. Because you need to start looking, as I said, outside of yourself. If you want motivation, look outside of yourself. What do you care about that, you know, isn't about you? Um, many of people say, you know, sacrifice. That's the best way to go. Sacrifice things you love. Um, and do hard work and do things for others. Give more than get. And you're going to be a happy person. You know, that's what it's always, uh, <laughs> always to spoke about in religions and stuff like that. So really think about that for you. Why do you always have to feel like doing something before you can do it? (laughs) 
Is that true for you? Is that something that you always find happens? Like you'll talk yourself out of things, you'll talk yourself out of the gym, or you'll talk yourself out of connecting with someone you really want to connect with because you talk yourself out of it. You can't really be bothered. You don't really feel like it. You don't feel good enough to do it. You know, in the grand scheme of things, does it matter how you feel when you take action? Not really. If you're getting a good reaction, a good result from your actions, sorry, then it doesn't matter how you feel when you, you're doing the action. It's all about the result, the end game, giving off, you know, the instant gratification to get something down the line that will actually make you feel fulfilled, working hard, you know, so that, I mean, look at the people who um, go to the gym and train, they work hard, they put their bodies through stress so they can look good and have a healthy lifestyle and live longer and stuff like that. It's the same thing with your mental health. You're going to have to act. You're going to have to take action. You're going to have to motivate yourself. Um, you don't have to feel motivated. You don't have to feel emotionally ready. You just have to do it regardless. So you don't have to feel like it to actually do it, right? That's one thing with stagnation. Um, another thing is staying consistent. Don't talk yourself out of doing it again and again and again. Just because you've started to get results doesn't mean that you can go slack off now. You know what I mean? It's sort of, you've got to stay disciplined even when you don't feel like doing it. Taking action on, you know, the responsibilities you have. And the biggest responsibility you have to yourself is making sure that you've got strong mental health and that you can, you know, be responsible for your friends and your families and people can rely on you. It's up to you to make sure you're okay and no one else um, and the more you talk yourself out of things, the f the worse you're going to feel. The more you allow your thoughts to run you, rather than you running your thoughts, the longer you're going to feel miserable, down, depressed, all that kind of thing. So, as I say, for staying consistent, you have to stay active and busy. As soon as you get up, before you can even talk yourself out of it, get out of bed, get something done, make your bed, you know, tidy your room. Have your breakfast, always have energy in the mornings. Do something productive in the morning, go for a walk, a run, train. Um, I know the, the Rock and, and famous people like that actually train early in the morning as soon as they get up. I mean, that's motivation for the day. You go in the gym, you're not feeling like it. You do a few reps and suddenly um, the blood flows all, all through you. Your body, your heart's pounding. I mean, it's more than likely you're going to take action that day and, and keep going. So keep active and keep busy look at your schedule in the morning and go am i going to lay in bed for five six hours am i just going to watch films on the you know on the sofa all day on the coach or am i actually going to get up as soon as i get up stay physically active and stay you know consistent actually finding how, how to problem solve how to take action how to resolve things how to get to where you want to be um and this is the hardest part of it, really. It's got sort of a quick podcast, maybe, this week. It's keeping keeping active, keeping busy. The hardest thing about that is boredom, right? <laughs> when you start doing something you don't want to do, um, be it maybe you're studying, maybe gym, maybe it's something that's tedious day in, day out. You have to do it. You know you don't like doing it, but you have to do it anyway. How do you do it? How do you work through that board? Oh, I'm bored. I can't be bothered. The thing is, most people these days, they can't take being bored. They can't handle it. They can't handle doing something that they don't want to do. Um, most people are so used to instant gratification. Hey, I want a coffee. Here's a coffee. You know, that kind of quick lifestyle. Load it up on my computer as soon as I want to know something. As soon as most people these days get told, you know, you have to sit there and do some work and actually be bored for a while and be frustrated and do things you don't like to do. <laughs> People fall apart. And it's so ridiculous because that's what you need to do to, to get good and, and to get things you want in life. You're going to have to struggle. You're going to have to suffer. You're going to have to grow. You're going to have to be bored a lot of the time. Um, and that's a big part of it. And then on top of that, we've got do what is needed. 
regardless of how you're feeling, regardless of how you're thinking about yourself and you're looking at yourself, oh, I'm anxious, I'm nervous, I'm depressed, I don't feel good enough, I don't look good enough, all this kind of things. All right, so what? Get up, get out of bed, go for a walk, get your blood pumping, you know, get your body working. Okay, right, I don't feel like it, maybe I don't feel good enough, but I've got these responsibilities and these responsibilities are going to help me do what is needed, you know. I need to get up and make sure the kids are ready. I need to make sure that I've got a financial plan for my future. How boring does that sound? But you're going to have to sort of look into that or else you'll end up with nothing. Um, I'm going to train my body because if you don't train your body, it's going to break down earlier. Um, you know, you, you're not going to have a healthy, long, fulfilling life if you're not training. You need to do what's needed to have a happy life before you'll start to feel happy. You've got to put in the hours, put in the work, put in the the, the bad times, go through all the, the, you know, difficulties that most people face in order to get that quality of life where you're feeling fulfilled, where you're feeling happy every morning, where you're feeling like you can take life head on and you're confident and you're driven. That doesn't come from overnight. It doesn't come from some magical place that you'll never reach. It comes from being consistent fighting through that boredom and just taking things head on and saying look I need to do this regardless how I feel I'm going to shut my feelings out for a bit and I'm going to just going to put my thinking cap on and I'm just going to say I actually need to take action on this um so let's run through all this again and for you in a way that you can actually start to implement these things as I say it's nice for me to cover it but where does that leave you you just sit there and and, uh, think what what do I do now well, here's the first thing. Look at your schedule. I always say it, you need a schedule. Stagnation. Why don't you act? I always say write the thoughts down, you know, put them in the thought cage, make sure they're looked and into them, you know, change them with a better question. But why don't you act? Write it down. Why don't I act? Right, okay. I usually don't act because of this. Okay, maybe I don't act because I've not really got the energy. Okay, why have I, why have I not got the energy? Well, you know, I'm in bed. Okay, so in order to get the energy, do I need to get up and get my blood pumping and get my body active? Will that give me more energy? If I eat higher quality food, will that give me more energy? Okay, yeah, that would actually give me more energy. Okay, so the reason I'm not acting is because I'm lying in bed all day doing nothing. <laughs> it sounds so common sense, right? But when you look at it and you break yourself down, you start to see all the flaws that maybe you've been running away from. Like... People don't like to admit they're wrong and they don't like to admit the flaws, but everyone's got them, so you've got to accept it and then take them head on. Another question is, why do you have to feel like it? Like, write down today three, four things I'm going to do today that I don't want to do and I don't feel like doing. What is that? Maybe it's your washing. Maybe it's your ironing. Maybe it's ringing someone, um, a company, Maybe it's sorting out that cupboard you always wanted to sort but never actually get round to. You know, what is it that you can do today that you do not feel like doing at all? And you have to do it. You have to put yourself through it. Get it done. Stop making excuses all the time. Um, Another thing is what can you stay consistent at? What is it you can put in half an hour every single day? And just say, right, I'm going to rock this every single day. doesn't matter if I don't like it. I'm just going to do it. And see how that changes you in a few months' time. As I say, it takes time. Everything takes time. Um, And then, yeah, keeping active, keeping busy. Write down, how long do I spend in bed in the morning? How long am I sat there not doing anything before I've got my blood pumping? You know, do I go for a walk as soon as I wake up? Do I get active as soon as I wake up? Okay, is it possible that because I'm not active, um, I'm feeling tired, I'm feeling drained? Is it because I'll stay up late at night um, when not doing really anything, just sat alone in my thoughts and social media and, and bad news rather than getting an early night's sleep, reading a book, you know, reading a book and getting an early night's sleep and getting up and doing something I want to do? Many of the times, like, emotional problems, they can actually come from you and your habits. Um, your thought habits, your actual physical habits, your eating habits, your sleeping habits, 
I know a lot of the time you say, you know, I'm a past this and I've done this and I've had that and this has happened to me, but quite frankly, your past doesn't define you. It's what you think about and how you take action is what's going to define who you are and how you feel. And the stuff you put into your body as well, the stuff you put into your mind, the stuff you think about, the stuff you watch, the attitude you have when you're waking up and, you know, you're going to have to do some things you don't like or you're going to end up in a place that you don't like. So that's sort of today's maybe a step towards discipline. Um, And then the last thing maybe you could write down for today for you to actually take action on is what's the last thing I did where I was bored and I worked through it and it turned out all right? Like something that you really couldn't be bothered doing, but you did it anyway. You put some music on in the background, you cracked on with it, and then that led to something great. Maybe it was a university degree. Maybe it was, um, you know, a mortgage that you needed to sort out. Maybe it was just even on a game. Sometimes you'll play video games. And there's the side quests you have to do that you really can't be bothered doing. That's sort of what life is like. You've got side quests and you have to do it and you have to sit through it and you have to get the experience in order to get to the next level. That's what life's all about. So if you're stagnant now, if you're stuck, then the best thing to do is to shut off your mind for a bit. Is literally stop thinking and start acting. Start doing some things around the house. Start doing some things you need to do. Start looking into problems you have and saying, right, okay, this really does actually bring me down. I'm going to sort it out. So that's today's. Um, that's today's podcast overall. As I say, maybe this is quite an intense one. Ooh, quite an angry one. Um, but it's one of those things, like you're going to have to look at your habits sometimes and you're going to have to say, it's not okay for me to, to feel weak all the time. It's not okay for me to put off responsibilities. It's just not. Um, and it's not okay for me to feel like everyone has to look after me all the time. Maybe I should do something where I can look out for other people and be strong and be dependable. And the only way you do that is by doing things you don't like. So this is maybe a, a toughen up episode. Um, I don't really do many of them, but this for the sake of it is yeah toughen up stop thinking all the time get more action get some some things done and um you never know you might see some massive results pretty cool eh? so that's today's episode pretty much all done and dusted uh we've got more episodes every single week I'm going to get one out for you guys, so lots to talk about. We're going to have loads of exciting guests on. I've um, been working on the journal today, so as I said, doing things that you really can't bother doing. I forced myself to do a few pages on that. <laughs> um, so that'll be coming out soon for everyone, so you can get the USB or the journal. And then future down the line, we're going to have more courses and stuff. But that's everything for today. The newsletter should be out as well, so if you want the newsletter, go to potentialofficial.com let us know just give us a message or email in and we'll we'll get you the links for that so we can sign you up and that's everything for today Uh, make sure you have a good day make sure you do some stuff you can't really be bothered with but you know you need to and um you know don't count yourself out just because you've always felt a certain way things can change things will change and sometimes it's you who has to change so changing isn't a bad thing it's something that we all have to do So, yeah, enjoy your day, guys, uh, and I'll see you all next week.